regard to the um, treats, these were provided by Susan and Flashman. He's here. I saw him. He's around. Very and you end up with like uh, 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 autothermal reforming. And, uh, but the, all these uh, reactions, uh, the common uh, uh, thing is this rate uh, limitation is actually the sage bond activation. And uh, uh, so for like a, a steam reforming or CO2 reforming because the large heat effect uh, you cannot fully utilize the activity, uh, activity of the catalyst, but uh, if you uh, deal with like a, a autothermal reforming or catalytic partial oxidation, you have a, a neutral process, close to neutral process, and then you can fully utilize uh, your uh, catalyst activity. So for those processes, uh, catalyst activity is very important. That's uh, our focus uh, today. And uh, for the uh, syn gas process for uh, gas to liquid, uh, really large scale catalytic partial oxidation and uh, autothermal reforming are uh, performed wrong. And uh, because uh, Bart mentioned that you need the ideally uh, hydrogen to CO uh, ratio of two syn gas. And uh, this process pro uh, produces the syn gas close to hydrogen to CO ratio two. And uh, for low skin to carbon, uh, low uh, hydrogen to uh, uh, CO ratio syn gas, carbon formation is a, a, a problem. And uh, people have to use precious metal. Among the precious metals, rhodium has been believed be, to be the, the best catalyst so far. But uh, everybody knows rhodium is very expensive. And uh, to make things worse is actually uh, when you test a rhodium at very really high temperatures, and you can see here, even with a couple uh, percentage loading, your catalyst is still deactivated very significantly uh, because your temperature is quite high. Uh, industrially, you want to push your reaction rate, so you, you will operate at very really high temperatures in order to get a high throughput. And uh, 900 degree is not uh, unusual. Usually, people can go over 1,000 degrees Celsius. And uh, this is only the gas temperature. The surface temperature even will be higher. And uh, uh, say we put the more uh, rhodium, 4% still show kind of significant uh, deactivation. And uh, uh, <coughs> just give a comparison, platinum at 2.5% deactivated even fast, faster. And uh, uh, we look at that and we identify the de deactivation mainly is because of the sintering. And uh, I will show a little bit more uh, uh, information on that. 
and uh, but uh, when you simply look at the, uh, the fundamentals and uh, platinum rhodium, uh, their melting point is around 2,000, 2,200 uh, 20, uh, kelvins, and uh, the the tem temperature is around like 750 uh, for platinum and rhodium a little bit higher, about the, uh, 100 degree higher. But uh, these temperatures actually are uh, lower than the operation temperature, not even talk about the surface temperature. So, catalyst uh, centering is unavoidable. And uh, we show you actually, this is the platinum uh, catalyst. Even we disperse this uh, catalyst relatively well, with small particles, and uh, definitely we have some large chunks, which is not good, but uh, you can say, the particles are dispersed pretty well uh, to start with. But the, uh, right here, we, we match the, uh, I use TEM to look at the, uh, the catalyst surface right before uh, start the reaction. And also after reaction, for example, this uh, platinum, uh, we put on stream like 7.5, 4 uh, hours. It's what you say, actually, most of the small particles has gone. And uh, uh, definitely centering is a problem. And also you can say, eventually, you get a lot of big particles with really, uh, I mean, uh, flat crystal surface, which is not really good. We will talk about a little bit more. And uh, on the other hand, this is the rolling catalyst. catalyst uh, I show you 2% of rhodium, and uh, definitely you can disperse pretty well. And uh, some very really small particles can show here at the large uh, magnification. And uh, after more than 100 hours on stream at 900 degrees, say, some centerings, the very really small ones disappear, uh, but the, the larger ones look like still keep uh, the same size. Means the centering is a little bit uh, Insignificant, but still uh, certainly happening. And uh, when we look at that, uh, the first thing we can do is I say, okay, maybe our uh, material not disperse uh, so well. If we uh, can further disperse, disperse better, maybe we have a chance. Then we focus on the, the carrier, the, the support, cast support. And we know, uh, we actually, I, I show you here one uh, cast support, which is. Uh, 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 bearing hex aluminum, it is a very uh, high temperature resistance uh, material, ceramic material, can uh, withstand a very high temperature. For example, at 1400 degrees Celsius, uh, you treat this material, the uh, surface area still stays uh, close to 10 uh, square meter per gram. Uh, on the other hand, if you talk about alumina, uh, your alumina will be in this range here. And we use this material, unfortunately, uh, it doesn't work. Looks like, uh, uh, I only show you one uh, instance here, but we try many, many t uh, other stuff, uh, none works. Still, we think the alumina is still uh, a good catalyst to support. And uh, from this point on, we focus on uh, changing the metal, try to say what we can do with the metal. And, uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, reports uh, talking about the uh, uh, CH bond activation uh, activities, and uh, you can look at uh, I mean the, the metals uh, usually used in this area. Uh, Platinum is uh, by far the most uh, active uh, CH bond activation uh, uh, material, and followed by platinum, iridium, rhodium, and ruthenium. And uh, the problem for uh, <coughs> Platinum is it's too fast and uh, Catalyst uh, actually as uh, the uh, hydrocarbon decomposed on the uh, plating uh, catalyst is so fast and cook information uh, you cannot handle that and uh, you cannot do that and then we move to the next one which is platinum we focus on platinum which uh, has quite good uh, CH bond acti activation uh, activities and uh, uh, what we do is as we uh, said before platinum because the low melt point and it's something pretty bad. We try to stabilize this platinum with a, a promoter, which I cannot disclose here. Sorry about that. But I try to uh, explain a little bit 
uh, more try to give you some uh, understanding fundamental of uh, why that work without disclosing or what it is. And uh, basically we allowing uh, this promoter with platinum, uh, we increase the, the, the term temperature to like a 1250 Celsius, which is really significant. And it is uh, about 500 degrees Celsius higher than a platinum metal. And uh, definitely this temperature is higher than the, uh, our operation temperature. Wow, we tested it, and the uh, in industrial uh, side may be close to this range. And uh, a lot of things, we uh, have some kind of indication this promoter actually uh, intact with alumina and uh, actually uh, form some kinds of uh, uh, bonds with alumina, I will show you, uh, which fix the, 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 the bimetallic particle. And, uh, First of all, uh, this show you actually when we add the uh, platinum, uh, the, the, the promoter in, and uh, we found really uh, a solid solution of this platinum and the promoter across the particle. It's quite a uniform uh, distributed. And uh, this picture show you uh, the bimetallic particle on alumina, and uh, this interface, you look at that, actually you can see some kinds of interaction uh, on, uh, at the interface, and uh, you do for uh, for a transport, and you look at it a little bit clearer. Uh, this interface going on here. We try to uh, exclude is uh, is that's the problem uh, with the promoter was uh, all uh, is the, uh, the interaction between the supporter and the platinum. We look at the platinum particle as well, and it didn't show interaction. So we think uh, that's an indication the promoter and the uh, support have some kind of uh, interaction and uh, which gave you kind of a bonding force and uh, in addition to the higher melt point, uh, this uh, to prevent the, 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 the catalyst uh, particle move. And uh, we look at the bimetallic particle, this is the fresh catalyst and uh, it's uh, dispersed uh, relatively okay and the uh, low large chunks, more like the large particles are around 20 nanometers, and the small ones are less than uh, uh, 10 nanometers, something like that that you see a lot around 10, some really smaller one, a few uh, nanometers. And uh, this is the platinum in a lot of magnification, you can see uh, a lot of it at a lower than uh, uh, 10 nanometers. But the, you can see here, I mean, that's large, Particles we showed before, and also you look at the uh, the crystals, small crystals, and uh, if you only have platinum, uh, this uh, particles are more uh, like a really uh, well crystallized, and uh, you have really flat uh, crystal surface, which is not very really good for catalytic properties. And uh, on the other hand, the bimetallic particles, you can see here, it's quite a uh, like a uh, round and uh, irregular, and uh, the surface is quite rough, which show you some kind of high index of plant, which is good for the uh, activity. And I will talk about a little bit more later on. And uh, the catalyst, we actually promote uh, promote platinum only with 0.5 percent of weight percentage, and uh, with the promoter about 20 or 2 percent. And uh, you can say the catalyst is quite uh, active and uh, I will talk about why it's active with no uh, platinum. And it's here, you can see, really stable. Much more, much, much more stable than uh, the uh, platinum alone and also the rhodium catalyst. And uh, uh, the selectivity is good too. And uh, uh, we look at the catalyst after uh, 240 hours on stream at uh, uh, 900 degrees C, and you can see the particle seems like a, a large particles don't change much uh, in, terms, uh, in terms of shape and the size. The small particle, some may uh, disappear a little bit, but you, you still can see small particles I mean, at a large magnification. This is the uh, fresh one, this is the uh, spanner one, and uh, you can see still in the uh, very small range. And uh, so this is really uh, stabilized. Uh, the, and also, uh, uh, I mentioned actually the crystal plant, uh, the 
most active uh, particles are actually uh, size are the size uh, not saturated with by the neighbors. They, this the the, this, the, uh, the the age, the angle, uh, the, 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 the 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 corners, and uh, uh, you can say this platinum particle, the platinum alone is uh, at the low index, and this one I should say that before, I mean, it's uh, kind of rough, and you can really identify uh, which one is which one, but it's all on the high index uh, uh, surfaces, uh, uh, plants. And uh, uh, we have some explanation say, okay, because you have a lot of uh, high index uh, uh, size, so your catalyst is more uh, active, but uh, what I suspect uh, this is not the only reason, and the other reason is actually when you look at the, uh, the literature, uh, uh, the Iglesias group uh, they uh, research on this uh, topic uh, quite uh, quite intensively, and uh, uh, they believe like uh, for the platinum catalyst at a certain uh, pressure, about a certain pressure, which is uh, this is much uh, we operate much higher than that, and. Uh, the surface, platinum surface, is saturated with uh, uh, tensile oxygen, and also they believe part of the platinum because absorbed uh, uh, with oxygen is not uh, actually utilized for the uh, CH bond activation, and uh, the really uh, uh, act active side for CH bond activation is this uh, uh, platinum and uh, tensile uh, oxygen uh, pairs. Actually, you have a empty size, and you have layer by oxygen control, which is available to grab uh, and uh, to release uh, your actually uh, covered species. And uh, we look at the, actually this uh, uh, carton I put it together. Basically, this uh, your platinum material, and uh, uh, if you have oxygen and uh, you, you do a uh, uh, partial oxidation and then only some parts of the, your platinum be utilized with a small amount and uh, uh, this are uh, the active uh, uh, size and the utilization depends on your partial pressure and uh, if you can replace this platinum with uh, another species which uh, can absorb uh, oxygen and uh, can provide the oxygen to uh, platinum to clean up with your carbon species, which is this case, and uh, you can actually utilize more, fu uh, fully utilize the, the platinum, even actually, if you have, the, because the, the, this promoter can change the electron properties, you may be able to actually do better. This is the, I think this is the case uh, we, we have. And uh, to give you some uh, indication here, actually, uh, this uh, the ratios of the promoter and the platinum and uh, this uh, methane conversion. You can see here, without any platinum active metal, this catalyst has no activity. But uh, as long as you add a little bit in, like a, uh, say, uh, pr a promoter eight times more than, 8.5 times more than the platinum, you get a quite a decent activity. And uh, this doesn't change much. This uh, one of the kind of support that we believe maybe the second mechanism also play a role. And uh, you look at the promoter actor, we know uh, platinum actually doesn't form any uh, 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 stable oxide, but uh, the promoter we know is quite a, uh, has pretty high uh, affinity to the to oxygen. And uh, so uh, let's come to my conclusion. Hopefully, after I talk about that, uh, you know, basically, uh, we have a much more active the, and more stable the catalytic system and, uh, for the uh, methane uh, activation or CH bond activation. And uh, the uh, platinum band like technical catalyst is, is, is more uh, stable is because uh, the biomechanical uh, alloy formation which has a, uh, the alloy has a higher melting point, and also po possibly uh, the biomechanical particles are uh, either under support and then the uh, centering is prevented. And the, the 
platinum by mechanical catalyst is more active at the lower uh, loading. Possibly it's because uh, this has higher uh, uh, formed a high index crystal plants, and which is more active. And uh, also, uh, the, the promoter frees platinum from oxygen occupancy and uh, for sage bond uh, activation. And uh, uh, the promoter may offer the oxygen to clean up the uh, uh, carbon species. And uh, finally, I try to college uh, people involved in, uh, in this research. Uh, first of all, so can me, uh, allow me to uh, present here, and uh, uh, our analytical group, uh, headed by Steve, and uh, also uh, we did our test at the Tianjin University in China, and also uh, we, we appreciate the cooperation between us and the University of Louisville, especially Dr. Uh, Tony Chen gave us lots of, lots of support on how to interpret uh, some, some data. Thank you. Did you look? Did you look at the platinum dispersion of, of, of your your catalyst or different catalyst, and maybe compare your, your activity to the actual number of, of surface sites? For a chemisorption, the hydrogen chemisorption, if you put the a promoter in, it decreases a lot because of alloy formation. It's hard to direct correlate. But we did a, a CO uptake. And the sale uptake corresponding to the initial activity pretty well. Which I didn't show you. <coughs> I'm wondering how homogeneous the uh, composition of your alloy particles is. Because one of the problems when you're alloying platinum or other metals is you tend to form a range of compositions. You're absolutely right. And uh, this uh, catalyst started with uh, all the places. And, uh, Maybe because of the, uh, the, the preparation method, which is the one way we want to do next. But the good thing for this uh, system is because the temperature is quite high, the operation temperature is quite high. This uh, alloy formation in the stall, it's going on. It's going on in the in, uh, in, in the process. We saw that, and we saw the uh, the alloy uh, like a ratio change, the, the two metal ch uh, ratio change. And uh, we have a kind of population product, which I show here, but we do have the data. Um, okay. um, if, I, if I heard you correctly, you said when well, you get comparable activity with the morning catalyst at a lower black and lower, does that mean the turnover frequency has increased? Yes. It was much, a lot. Two reasons. One is the uh, high index location because of your rough surface. Secondly, uh, the platinum has thereby a uh, promoter which offer you oxygen to clean up uh, the carbon species. There was another question, yes. Uh, what does the surface say of okay. <laughs> uh, This is uh, alpha aluminum, so, so a, a couple of scrumming programs is quite low. Because of the high, high temperature, we have to use more. Can I have another question? Okay, sure. Um, it, it is known actually the problem is platinum generation. And do you consider a uh, possibility to do the dispersion of the platinum by light uh, uh, like the you know, generation technology or reforming technology? I don't quite sure I gave your, your, uh, your question. But uh, you, you say this technology used to uh, hydrogenation or? The hydrogenation and reform. Yes. Did you consider uh, a redispersion of the platinum? The dispersion of the, uh, yeah. Redispersion. Redispersion of the uh, plant? Oh, you, can, you, need, you, need, you, need, you need to treat this material. You need to have some kind of uh, temperature to, to finish that. I think we can talk about it later. Okay. Well, will you please help me thank Jason one more time?